Hi everyone, welcome back to Dragon Image. So uh, today we've got the Ronin S, but we've set it up with the C100. As you can see, we've got it nicely balanced on top of the gimbal here, so that works out really well. Uh, some of the questions that we keep kind of getting asked about the Ronin S is first, how do I turn it on, which seems really e easy, but it's not. Um, you've got to turn the battery on first, then you've got to turn on the main unit by pressing the button on the side here. The other thing you've got is the mode button, so these are basically the three speeds currently of how quickly it kind of rotates. And the other thing is that just like the Osmos, they have a little trigger here. So what the trigger does, it allows me to point at a subject and then kind of lock that off. So this is really good if I'm doing low stuff and high stuff, and I just want to make sure that my hand movement doesn't affect the position of the gimbal. Um, so for instance, let's just say that I want to do a shot that I'm kind of looking up. So I can tilt that up like that, press the lock button, and now as I go down, my hand movement isn't affecting the position of the camera. And then I go of it and reposition it. So it's as easy as that. Sorry? Okay, so let me just put this back into position. Okay, so I'm centered. I tilt up, hold the button, and now you can very easily do those shots. Now let's just say I want to do the opposite. So go of the button, tilt down, hold the button. And it still allows me to move that without having to worry about a change in the angle of the camera. And it's that simple. So it doesn't lock onto a subject, it locks off to a particular angle or a tilt. And there you have it. You do have the joystick if you want to make minor kind of adjustments, but as you can see, it's quite abrupt. It's not a very smooth kind of system, but there are other programs and applications you can use to get a little bit more kind of control out of it. Um, as for the focus wheel, we aren't really using it with this camera, uh, but if you had like a DSLR of A7S or a Panasonic, it would be great to use. So there you have it. No worries. See you soon.